Welcome to Play Unplug TV. I'm your host Enrico Nardini for PlayUnplug.com, and today we have another Play Unplugged unboxing. Uh, this is kind of a combination of topics in the sense that uh, I recently unboxed some Foundry miniatures. Foundry is one of those great miniature companies that's been around for a long time, and as I've said before, kind of a triple threat of miniature companies having a really great miniature line, plus a really great line of, play, of paints, plus an excellent uh, series of books. And uh, also, because I've done the, I did the Mongoose 2080 Judge Dredd miniatures game unboxings recently, um, I've been on a 2080 kick for a while now, I'm quite a fan, and uh, one of the series that I find most endearing is the ABC Warriors, and so I have to unbox today, or unblister in this case, uh, two ABC Warrior packs, one containing Hammerstein, the leader of the ABC Warriors, uh, plus Joe Pineapples and Morgan, and the other one containing ABC Warriors, Black Blood, uh, Row Jaws, and Deadlock. So we're going to take a look at each pack and... Uh... All right, folks, these are the blister packs themselves, and we're going to crack it open. And we've got three circle bases, as well as three ABC Warriors characters. Here is Hammerstein. He looks great. Uh, the sculpting on these, you know, I, I can tell you right now, just looking at them, the sculpting on these is, is just excellent. Uh, once again, very evocative of the 2080 comics. The characters look appropriate. Um, one thing I would say, this Hammerstein, they, they make a second Hammerstein, and I believe it's much bigger. This Hammerstein's a, a little bit small, I think. In, in the comic, he looks like he's bigger than, uh, than these other characters. He looks like he's one of the bigger ones. Um, uh, one of the bigger members, though not uh, not by any means the biggest, um, not by any means the biggest, uh, but he looks great. Uh, his hammer looks awesome. You know, it uh, it's kind of a classic pose with the uh, hammer pointed up, aiming his uh, aiming the kind of trigun thing he's got on his uh, on his gauntlet, and uh, they have his, his awesome uh, iconic tank tread feet. And here is Joe Pineapples. I was kind of surprised to see that Joe happens to, uh, Joe actually has two, uh, he's like a two-part, he's a two-part sculpt. Um, though, I mean, when when casting this, I could see why. But uh, when I show you, when I show you Deadlock later, uh, you'll see why I was like, oh, well, if they could do it that, I don't understand why this would have to be two pieces. But not a big deal at all. This is a, a very easy, you know, a very easy assembly. No problems, and I like one of the details on one of the details on Joe Pineapples is this decapitated uh, robot that he's standing on uh, while getting ready to fire his gun. Morgan is the character I'm the least familiar with of the six that we're going to look at. Um, I actually don't have any issues. Um, well, for me, because uh, I live in the states, I actually graphic novels uh, that feature her, so I'm not uh, I'm not completely sure what her deal is. Uh, or how accurate the model the uh, the model is though. I would say um, The rest of these figures are pretty much dead on so I'm going to just go on to the assumption that she uh, She looks pretty much like the character in the comic should All right, move these guys over to the side and crack the second blister And inside we've got Row Jaws, who I just think is the awesomest. Such a great robot design. Uh, he's on a mono wheel, and uh, he's got the, you know, you can obviously see why he gets his name. He has this crazy boxy square mouth full of teeth. Uh, an awesome character, and really, uh, you know, just rolls right off the comic page. Uh, very well sculpted. And uh, Black Blood and Deadlock also look just like their comic book counterparts. I really kind of like Black Blood's design in general. Um, he just looks really cool. Very cool model. Though I have to say, a lot of some serious mold lines here. Those are going to take a little bit of work to get off. Um, on that part. The rest of it looks pretty clean. Now, you know, there's a little bit here too. So, they'll need a little bit of cleanup. And lastly, like I was saying with Deadlock, they nailed the gap in his body with the sword so well. 
I was just wondering with the Joe Pineapple sculpt why they had to make it two pieces. But you know what? Like I said, not a big deal. And once again, Deadlock looks great and, and very evocative of the comic book that they draw the inspiration of from. All right, folks, that was the Foundry 2000 AD ABC Warriors packs. Try saying that five times fast. For more news, reviews, and hobby tips, make sure you check out PlayUnplugged.com. You'll also see lots of great videos like the unboxings or unblisterings or whatever you want to call them, uh, depending on what we actually are opening up for you guys. Uh, you can find those also at PlayUnplugged.com. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next episode. Greetings and welcome to Play on Plug TV. I'm your host, Enrico Nardi. I got a, an itch in my ear and it's driving me crazy.